liquidity ni pesa na hii ndio pesa ambayo inatumika ku drive the market kwao these guys waweza wakasukuma soko bila kuwa na nini na liquidity kwa hiyo watafanya kila kila njia kuhakikisha kwamba wanawatega watu waingie kwenye mtego umeelewa just take an example ndio uh, liquidity zinapatikana sehemu gani liquidity zinapatikana sehemu kama zipatazo kwa mfano kwenye double top au double bottom yani unapokuta kuna iko kuna iko uh, iko highs au lows sawa mmm hiyo ni sehemu ya kwanza sehemu ya pili uh, tuna, tuna, tuna liquidity zinaitwa trend line liquidity sawa ndio afu kuna nyingine ambayo nitaiita buy side lakini pia inaitwa uh, unaweza kuita pia sell side depending na inapatikana upande gani sawa ndio sell side liquidity sawa mmm okay. sawa so. nianze na iko highs and iko lows maana yake hizi ni kwenye double top na double bottom why kwenye iko highs and iko lows unakuta kitu kipo hivi sawa so, price imeenda hivi mm kuni chini imekuja at this point sawa so, katengeneza iko sawa sawa maybe kafanya hata break of structure hapo sawa so, so, break this law sawa so, iki break so. this law ndo tunaita break of structure bos sasa ambacho wa watu wengi wao wanategemea wao wanategemea price kirudi hapa Sawa. <coughs> Kirudi hapa. Sao. Lazima i sell kwa sababu wao wana trade kwa kutumia nini? Resistance. Kwa sababu kuna two touches, wanaamini hii touch ya tatu lazima itafanyeje? Itarudi chini. Lakini what happens? These guys wanaweza wakaja hapa waka touch hivi and then wakaenda juu. Wanapoenda juu wakitengeneza hesabu touch it means kuna liquidity nyingi sana huku juu wameona. Wameona watu wengi sana wana buy. So umeelewa? Sawa. Mm -hmm. So what they will do wataenda juu ku grab liquidity kufanya stop hunting kwa sababu wameshaona a lot of people hapa juu wengine wameweka buy stop so umeelewa eh yeah. buy stop maana yake ni kwamba price kifika hapa ibai maana yake wana buy the breakout umeelewa lakini kuna some guys wali sell hapa wakiamini this is going to be a nini It's going to be Same. A sell kwa maana ya kwamba yeah. this is the resistance. Kwa hiyo these guys wanachofanya wanakuja chini ku support kwanza sellers. And then sellers kwa sababu sellers wanakuwa wameweka stop loss hapa. Wanakuja yeah. juu wanachukua stop loss. Sawa? Wakichukua stop loss kuna some people waliweka buy stops hapa. Kwamba iki break wa wa buy stop. Kuna some people wali sell the the pullback. Sawa? This guy is baada ya kuwa wameingia our buy stop wanaingia kwenye faida then baadaye the price inakuja na retrace back to this level unaweza ukaona walio sell wamechukuliwa walio buy wamechukuliwa at this point utaona sasa ndio na kusikia kwa shida na katakata na katakata Hey, na scratch. Bado na scratch. Ah, save it for clear. Nilichokuwa nasema ni kwamba high double highs, uh, the echo highs ni kama ni kama hizi. Unakuta kuna double uh, bad, double bottom kama hii, okay? Na double top kama hii. Mm. That means this guy go anajua kabisa whenever kuna echo highs, watu wengi wanaitrade mm. kama double double top mambo unaitika ili ni sawa sawa eh uh -huh. kwa sababu network tayari umeniambia nasumbua usiponi ushindwa kunisikia niambie so what happens ni kwamba these guys wa, wanacho wanacho wanachofanya ni kwamba because watu wengi sana wao wakishaona tu double top kama hizi high mm. kama hizi wao wanaamini kabisa price ikija hapa hii tag ni resistance kama ni resistance mm. tunasubiri break to buy tunasubiri fanye pull back mm. fanyeje tusee lakini wao waoni kitu kama hicho kwa sababu wanatumia hizi learning materials ku club kuingiza mm. mtu so these guys wanachofanya 
wanaweza wakaja hapa mm. wakapush chini kidogo ili kukutengenezea ile ingafi nkendo kwa sababu some people wana trade zile kendo stick pattern mtu akishaona kendo iko hivi maeneo ya vitabu ndo vinavyofundisha hivyo ndio ukuta kendo kama hii ipo kwenye 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 kwenye, kwenye resistance alafu ikaja mm. kendo inaofuata ikaingafu kama hii tayari hapo watu wengi wao wanaamini una sell kwa sababu ipo kwenye nini kwenye resistance mwanielewa mpaka hapo yes. something yeah. that is not true kwa sababu hiki kitu wanafanya makusudi wana uwezo wa kukifanya haya maeneo sawa fanya haya maeneo mm. ili u sell uki sell before ujafika kwenye tp yako kwa sababu tp lazima utaiweka huko chini kwenye next key level sawa mm. kabla ujafika kwenye next key level this yeah. is gonna reverse wanaenda wanachukua stop loss na maana utasikia nilikuwa kwenye faida nimerudi nimekuta stop loss imeguswa alafu kuna some people wana trade breakout wao wanasubiria kama mm. hii resistance wanasubiri ivunjwe na ikisha vunjwa wao wanavunja mm. tu kendo ikaingia huko ndani ka close above hapo wengine wanasubiria hata close mm. ikisha fika tu hapa tayari ana mm. buy buy orders wengine mm. ya kusubiria anakuwa ameshaweka buy stop hapa anakuwa ameshaweka buy stop hapo juu Oh, what happens mm. what happens this guys wana trigger hizo order kwa sababu ni pending order maana yake ukiweka buy stop haiwi active mpaka iguswe ile price kwa hiyo wana trigger ndio wanagusa ile price wakigusa ile price wanachofanya wanakupeleka kwanza kwenye faida ile ni black jack theory wanakupa faida kidogo kwanza wakisha kupa faida wanarudi chini wana hit mpaka ile stop loss kwa sababu they believe kabisa uh, kama uli buy hapa kuna uwezekano mkubwa umeweka stop loss haya maeneo na kama ni mjanja sana utakuwa umeweka wapi huku chini so these guys wanaweza wakaja kabisa waka take all your, your, your stop loss zote minus stop loss minus stop loss hadi hizi huji unaelewa 